One of the most iconic animals in Jumpland is the moose. And despite its popularity as a regional delicacy, I've been told that one of the locals in this region is making cheese from their herd at a nearby farm. The owner, Suni Hagmark, began his career as a moose herder after he volunteered to look after some baby moose whose mother had been killed in a traffic accident. So many tourists come to Scandinavia and they don't see the wild moose. Are they easy to look after? Quite easy to look after. Once you've got them tame, they, they um, are tame all the time. And of course, the $50 million question, do you milk them? I milk the moose cows, yes. Yeah. They really like it, so they think I'm a calf, I guess. So I can milk about two, three liter per time. Really? Yeah. And how much cheese do you get out of it? Uh, two liter milk makes one kilo cheese. And oh. it's this moose cheese, it's that's, very... Oh, that's it? I have a little from last year. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's very expensive. Is it? Why? Yes, 3,000 crowns per kilo. Because we're only two or three milkers in the world, so right. it's... Very, very special. The most expensive cheese in the world, perhaps? They say so. It's in Guinness. There you record. go. In the Guinness Book of yes. Records. OK. Well... I have to say, that isn't as bad as I thought it would be. No, it's, it, <laughs> I was nervous. <laughs> it is really OK. It's, it's unusual. It's very unusual. You also make lots of other things from the moose. Yeah. And this paper here, yeah. from moose droppings. Moose droppings. Every time a moose shits, it's 15 papers. 15 of these? Yeah. And is there a big demand for this paper? Yes, I sell everything because the collectors in US, they pay $150 per paper because it's compared with papyrus. So this is my big hit. Ah, so it's not the cheese, it's the paper. Yeah. Well, you know, having tried it, I can sort of understand. <laughs> <laughs>